Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, or good evening, whenever you're watching this. Thank you for joining us on the fifth episode of the live intraday trading series. We managed to do all right today. We returned about 1% on our capital and positionally our trades have done really well. Um, our covered calls as well as DK based spreads uh, that we have taken positionally have done really well today. And um, I think today's episode will be quite interesting because it was a day with not too much volatility in the market. Um, and um, it was basically risk management and um, ensuring also that we don't over trade and we take profits off when it seems like our uh, view is going wrong. I think uh, there should be quite a few takeaways. We also try to incorporate a lot of your feedback uh, into this episode, feedback that we've got. Thank you so much for taking the time out to give us the feedback. Uh, we've tried to incorporate that and we really appreciate it and would like to continue improving the um, experience of people who are watching this so that there can be as many takeaways as possible. Um, people who have questions about some of the trades uh, that I have open can join us on our completely free forum that is available. The link should be in the description. Uh, we don't have any kind of paywall. Uh, everything that we do is transparent and it is with the intention of uh, sharing with the bigger community and creating a community of traders where uh, the serious professionals or those who want to eventually do this professionally um, come and discuss their ideas and uh, you know use as a sounding board so i hope you enjoy this and uh, please do leave any and all feedback that you may have in the comment section thank you so much good morning ladies and gentlemen so the trade plan for today is simple we are entering this market with uh, very good cues overnight we have 1.9 billion dollar stimulus check coming in and the idea is we've gapped up and this is uh, across the bat doing really well so in terms of what is doing well everything is up reliance is up financials are up mid cap is up mcg pharma everything is up everything is in the green so seems to be a good uh, good sentiment in the market we've entered our position it is a bullish strangle we have taken in much more credit from the put side and the idea here will be we're going to wait and watch so on both the accounts we've entered our position and we're going to wait and watch and until the day's low is not taken out we're going to retain a bullish view so that's going to be the idea of course since we're coming from a relatively high uh, environment in terms of uh, uh, iv and options pricing uh, we 15000 being a psychological level once it holds for a while the option pricing should come down once we hold at 15000 or once we move slightly higher from 15000 the idea is that iv should come down further so and that's our strangle position for now and the risk management would stay so right now it's about uh, 9 40 in the morning so we will manage this trade through the day and our risk management states that if we break the day slow then we'll balance our strangle so we'll catch you at the next update okay 10 o'clock update um not much has changed in the market except that reliance is now getting really strong and bank nifty is moving up further and uh, yeah we're here so uh, rightfully a lot of the premiums have crashed we're doing well on our strangle um the call is really is what gi is giving us a lot more of the profits just because you know when there was a big gap up and call prices went through the roof uh, the gap up hasn't really carried on too much so that's why um, the calls are giving good amount of decay. So we're doing all right on our positions. Now, something we have to be mindful of because Bank Nifty now potentially going for new highs is positionally we have a Bank Nifty covered call. So we're longer future and we're short these calls. Um, unfortunately, these calls went super deep in the money and at different points we had to collect a lot of additional credit from uh, the put side. So we collected credit on the, we booked those puts already, but we booked the uh, 32,000, 32,500, 33, 33,500. Now we're on the 34. And uh, since SBI is up move sort of paused, instead of then again just moving up this put, we created a short straddle by selling the 36,000 put and the 36,000 call. Now currently, the intrinsic value in this is about 350 points. Uh, but the idea will be um, the idea will be that. Uh, Bank Nifty should probably consolidate now, now that the big move in uh, SBI is done. So that's what we're doing here. Our reliance position, which as of uh, not last Friday, but the Friday before that was giving us huge damage is doing really well now because reliance has come 
really well into our break-even range. So we have Reliance trades on both. Um, I'll go over the Reliance trade probably at one of the next updates. But uh, the idea here was uh, if we had balanced this by moving down our calls, we would have been taking quite a lot of damage. But by not doing that, by knowing that worst case scenario, we roll forward the trade. Uh, the Reliance trade is now is what positionally paying us off really well. Uh, ITC as well, we had a covered call on ITC. Uh, so along the future and we were short the call and to balance that we sold a put uh, so made a short start a lot of interest. so the thing is when we do uh, covered calls um, right okay we were right in it uh, going in the direction that we wanted to but at the same time we don't want to lose money on the call so then you manage that call like it is basically like a naked call to try and take in more credit uh, so that's the idea and good thing uh, here i mean if it's a volatile stock something not like itc would be to hedge it on both sides probably by the 200 put and the uh, 250 call so i'll probably do that as well because it'll boost up my margin uh, available so that's the idea um yeah so the trade as of uh, 1005 1006 is that we were retaining our position and seems to be doing well not because directionally we got it on point or anything but because uh, now that we're stably holding over 15,000 the options prices are really crashing okay while we're not having to actively do anything because the market is more or less uh, going in line with our view uh, we'll go over some of the requests made on previous videos um, one thing I, I can't make my screen white uh, I'll try to improve the resolution on uh, the existing setup that we have and increase the quality so it's more visible uh, the problem with having a white screen is that it's harsh on the eyes and since i'm staring at like multiple screens at the same time having a lot of white light uh, on my uh, in my eyes can can be i don't know it's it's not something i'm very comfortable with uh, one of the other requests people wanted to go over what is the uh, payoff graph now okay the payoff graph will look something like this here you have to ignore the fact that we have a covered call on the nifty actually we don't have a covered call on the nifty we're just longer future right now so the payoff graph looks something like this and uh, the total possible decay as per black shoals is projecting about two lakhs now you can't go by this as as a uh, uh, you know like a big rule or anything it's just a rough estimate provided iv doesn't change provided there's no freakish moves uh, that's what would probably happen now, um, in terms of what would our targeted profit be, of course, if the market doesn't move, this is our projected DK. But if the market goes up, because our put is our put side credit is much more than our call side credit, then this DK will also go up. So that's something. So yeah, the payoff graph looks something like this. In terms of where we are on the reliance position, I'll cover that right now as well. So both reliance positions look very similar, and uh, both of them are on the same lines. So. Our lower break even on the reliance position is 1900 our view is that reliance stays in this range the reason why our upside is hedged really well is because we do not want to lose any money on the upside we do not mind losing money on reliance on the downside so about two weeks back when reliance was all the way here we were in quite a bit of loss but with that loss doesn't necessarily matter because one we're super well hedged so let's say we were retaining that loss after the first week, second week of Feb. Then what we would do is we would book the profit that we were making on some of the puts when Reliance was here, we were making on the long puts and then we would move down our calls. But the idea behind this entire Reliance position is if not today, someday Reliance is probably more likely to move on the upside drastically than on the downside. So when we carry forward this position, our break even in one month alone can move from 1900 to almost uh, 1660 1670 150 points really without giving up the upside so losing on the downside isn't necessarily a bad thing it means that okay um, we just carry it forward to the next month and while we do book a loss um, our view is that reliance is probably eventually going to move on the upside and not the downside so we've been carrying this trade in fact if you look in my first video I, i'd shown you that we've actually booked a lot of profit on a, on this trade that we've been doing on reliance over a period of time and uh, we'll continue to so this is as far as the positional update is concerned the rest of it is just okay we have a covered call on bajaj finance um if our strike starts to go too much deep in the money then then we'll definitely have to balance from the call side for now we're not doing anything though so that's what it is it is 10 15 and uh, 
our position is looking good for now so we're not going to do anything um, we might move down our calls to take in a more credit a little later but not as of now as of now we seem to be making higher low higher high type situation um bank nifty is looking good quite stable from where it was um iv not at all spiking it just moved up early in the morning a little bit but not much more from that um so yeah we'll keep you posted 11 o'clock update um the market is being very range bound today and actually hasn't moved uh from where it has been in the past one hour we're exactly there um we're seeing some amount of dk and uh, on on both the call and the put that we've sold so our position is looking quite good uh with respect to what is actually happening um it's a complete consolidation bank nifty is in a super narrow range um so but now it might be one of those days where we're just sideways reliance as well just holding on to that um 1950 range plus minus two three points at any point of time um nothing with momentum at this point so it has been in the same range pharma fmcg everything around there nothing nothing with any big momentum on any direction so um, we continue to hold our position for now and simply because of the fact that nothing happened and the gap up didn't get sold into our position is now less bullish from a delta point than what it was uh, okay it's about the same so so yeah but the idea is we're going to hold on to this view and see if we make any big move on the upside or the downside the point at which we change this will be if uh, once again we start dipping towards today's lows or we start making a new high for the day so those are the two criteria in which we either move down our calls by 50 to 100 points um, from a strike price perspective if uh, we start making new days lows and uh, we'll move up our puts by another 50 in terms of strike in case we start making a new high for the day also depends it depends on if uh, that high is being supported by something like a big up move on bank nifty or it um so we'll wait and watch for now we're just going to hold on okay so what we're going to do now is uh, we're looking at the nifty chart and we are now testing this 15100 because bank nifty has almost given up half a percent of gains since the morning so for risk management what we'll do is if this starts uh, expanding above 90 which means if this is over 90 it means nifty is below 15100 uh, we'll move down these uh, calls so we'll move it to the 15250 and uh, at that point the 15250 call should be trading at something around uh, um, 60 60 points or maybe like slightly under 60 but this would have gone down all the way to like 42 43 so we'll do that with part of the position so that'll be the idea that uh, if if we start breaking down 15100 is holding well for now but since bank nifty is giving up gains bank nifty slowly giving up and heading back towards the opening price so yeah we don't we don't want to now see the uh, you know slight points we have captured go away so that that will be the move below 15100 we move down our calls not all of them partly the 12 o'clock update is that once again it seems to be a very very sideways day reliance moved up a little bit to compensate for the fact that bank nifty moved down close to half a percent from the day's high and uh, yeah reliance now at a point where we can potentially see upwards of 1960 so reliance looking good whenever reliance strong we generally see the index will be strong yes. so bank nifty as well it's up and consolidating in the same zone so see what's happening on the option side good amount of put writing at the money and close to money levels there is call unwinding at lower levels and hardly any put writing at higher levels so nifty looking strong in this 15100 zone uh, holding here for so long shows shows a lot of strength um, that is there if you look at what's happening with bank nifty you're seeing equal amount of positions being built up on both sides so suddenly bank nifty is looking extremely sideways and uh, yeah that big after that big up move that we saw last week i think 
bank nifty probably poised to stay here for a while we're doing really well positionally uh, and we don't really have to manage any of our positional trades except for maybe the budget finance so we'll wait and watch on that um our intraday trade is exactly the same for now um we'll risk manage this if we see convincing enough reason for 15100 to be broken on the downside if that happens um if it's supported by price action on stocks we'll immediately risk manage that so for now we're just holding on to the same positions and uh, yeah we'll keep you posted yeah it's, it's the same thing it's extremely sideways you look at any index it's been exactly the same all day auto gap up sideways bank so gap up sideways it gap up and continue to trade at days highs but more or less sideways um fmcg trading at the day's lows but really yesterday's close it's it's not really broken so Friday's close sorry. so nothing really trending nothing to be too concerned about that should lead to a big move on nifty itself so seeing bank nifty dipping right now so this calls for a little action to be taken so what we're going to do is get out of these hmm Okay. Okay, this is horrible. Okay, there we go. Here as well. So the puts will always expand when you see a level like that broken. Uh, bank Nifty at the day's low now. So we've broken the open. And uh, yeah, so we're going to reduce the level at which of our bullishness okay so the idea now will be An idea now will be if we see another 40 50 points move down from here, we'll also move our call strike down uh, by another 50 points. And if we see the day slow go, then we will more aggressively um, manage the position. So we'll keep you posted. We're going long in bank nifty puts, and we're going to. That are stop loss market on this of nine eighty five. This is just testing out the waters more or less. So yeah, bank nifty is heading back towards Friday's close, which is why we have now decided to go short. Well, bank nifty picks up positionally that will do well for us mm -hmm. okay maybe our stop loss is a little too close so we're just going to keep it at 585 okay we're moving up now Hmm, okay, puts are expanding.
The thing is Reliance is showing strength in this dip. Reliance is actually picking up. So the Nifty itself, I don't know how much downside there could be, but Bank Nifty probably. Let us see if it heads towards Friday's close. Okay, Bank Nifty is really doing some damage now. Unfortunately, we got stopped out on the puts at the first sign of recovery. So this candle kind of took us out. The long puts were basically to edge our short calls on the Nifty. But uh, now what we've done is we've moved down our short calls. Now there's an expansion in put premium, which is quite immediate because of which uh, the puts are really taking off. What we would be doing now is see if the day's low breaks. And if the day's low breaks, we'll start unwinding some of our short put positions and um, keeping a stop loss for re entry, basically. So that's the plan for now. Also, trying to look at the volumes with which some of these are being sold into the day. Is the volume really that high? HDFC has been weak all day, but. Volume isn't particularly high. Kotec has been the weakest on the index so far trading at the day's low. The volumes are very average, so we don't need to overly move down our calls in a hurry and uh, have that backlash on us. Yeah, HDFC Bank. Yeah, volumes are average and best. So, once again, HGFC Bank at that psychological 1600 mark. Yeah, this is not exactly yet going short situation necessarily. Because the momentum isn't really there. But let's wait and watch. Okay, let's take a look at what we're doing from a risk management perspective. Right now that our position has gone not so good, like it's gone uh, slightly against our hypothesis for the day. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's all right. So the first thing that we want to see is that we have stop loss market orders open about 50 points away, 50% uh, higher than what currently the put that we are short is trading at. And we also are short calls, which are worth about 65% um, of uh, a little bit more, 70% of the put that we are short. So in case market cascades, which really doesn't seem to be the case, which is why I'm not moving down our calls further. So in case market breaks the open and really starts to cascade towards yesterday's close, immediate thing that's going to happen is these puts are going to expand so rapidly that we will get stopped out while we will retain our short call position. The immediate thing we will do and then on our short call position is um, set a stop loss so that we lock in whatever profit we're making on the short call position. Even what we did by going long in bank nifty ports was essentially covering some of our shorts on the nifty ports. So of course these were at the money, those are out of the money, all, all of that is there, but it is a balancing act. Now in case there is a sudden cascade, like for example, there's no sudden cascade now and now this dip is getting bought. In case there's a sudden cascade, that's exactly what will happen. Get stopped out on the losing position and then immediately try to book profit or set a stop loss on the profitable position slightly higher than what it is trading at. Now, if the momentum continues to go from there, then we can look at reversing our positions and then go long the same options that we were short. So uh, if you were on our forum, there are some days when the market has moved horribly. I think 21st December was one of them. and. Uh, uh, we had one uh, a little bit after that, but I back then wasn't putting these up on YouTube. You can go to those forums and check out how we managed a day like that when we have uh, 200, 300, 400 points down move suddenly after gapping up. So um, that that's how the whole risk management situation works. Okay, so the dip is getting bought and uh, yeah, it's getting bought to a point where we're like, okay, the guys who went short here are now covering might lead to a new day's high. Now we can be like, oh, if we didn't manage our position, if we didn't move down the calls, if we didn't go long on the bank nifty puts, then our, we'd be making much more profit. Yes, absolutely. But we would have taken on an undue amount of risk, something that we're not really intending to. So what we'll do now is retain this position, which now is 
bullish to a certain extent but won't be for long if we have another 15 20 points up move from here this position will neutralize itself on on both that's what will happen another 20 points 15 points up move and we are looking at a neutral slime in which case what we'll do is we'll wait we'll see if it's convincing enough to take out this high that we made of the day and we start doing that because of whatever shots getting covered then we will then move up our ports yes once again a reversal will be like okay now we're taking more damage on the ports but the whole idea is to um capture as much as we can without taking on more risk than we intended to okay so one o'clock update position intraday almost remains exactly the same no change since our last update we are seeing a big uptick reliance trying to break the day's range and head towards uh, new highs which is doing really well for us positionally we're making uh, we're doing really well on the reliance position for now intraday once again no changes here nifty as well uh, the reliance up move sort of got sold into that saw this dip and now we're seeing pullback from there so same thing is happening nifty is being strangled to death around that uh, 15 100 so very sideways sort of situation bank nifty as well that from from the dip we seem to now be once again sideways we didn't really test friday's close and uh, yeah one o'clock update not much of a change to the intraday position at all okay so two o'clock update and we just want to go over what's happening now if you look at the nifty right is high once twice thrice four times fifth time the more times the resistance is hit the weaker it becomes so this is showing good amount of strength and dips getting bought and dips getting bought whatnot now let us see what's happening with reliance reliance has sort of broken out now and if you see this 1960 also has historically a lot of value and 1960 has been a pivotal level so uh, many people might draw this and say this is an ascending triangle or or uh, close to being something like that and technically that's a bullish or whatever but basically it doesn't matter what is of concern is it's now broken out of this range and heading higher so the more times it tests this 1960 and tries to convincingly break out from here the more likely it is now bank nifty bank nifty uh, obviously dipped from its highs but its range bound is now made a higher low seems to be um, holding 36,000 and for all we know with the amount of open interest being built up around 36,000 36,000 um, people want bank nifty to stay there for a while now how do we look at um, what is really causing the momentum in the market it is heading higher 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 that's what's happening it is just going higher and higher for a good amount of time it was balanced by the fact that fmcg is heading lower and lower and you know from a gap up now it is heading towards being almost um 0.5 percent upon four percent down now the thing is if fmcg if fmcg stops continuing this trend of going lower and this trend is not strong enough to compensate for it heading higher and bank nifty continues to consult it and reliance breaks out on the upside and now convincingly goes over 1970 then we will see an up move on the spot itself which is what we are seeing and we're continuing to scale higher so if you look at what is happening from our position now we almost have a bearish position because okay big candle on the bank nifty and uh, nifty as well breaking range right breaking range and heading up which is why puts have really deflated so the idea now will be to move up this put partly at least at least 50 percent of our put position higher because this call will now start to expand now that range is broken this call is going to start expanding at the same time we don't want to do it too quickly so we'll move half of this position up and uh, same here as well you move it. So that's the two o'clock update okay we moved up half our puts and by 100 points not by uh, t and that still gives us a net bearish position as of now actually no it's just to take the average of these two it is more or less balanced we've sort of neutralized that we will be creating slightly bullish on this side so okay it is really really moving now um so we're going to have to keep a better track of it it is moving up so what we're going to do 
is uh, we're going to exit these. Okay. Interesting. Oh yes, okay. We have stop loss market orders. Mm, I'm gonna exit these. Add to this. So now we're keeping a closer eye on IT. See what happens. Because FMCG has stopped moving down, it's half a percent down and staying exactly that. It doesn't seem to be too strong of a trend downwards. It is still trading at the day's low, but the momentum on IT is definitely much higher than the momentum on FMCG. Reliance as well looking strong um, I mean it's trying to break out trying to get sold into but uh, overall the momentum is on the upside mainly due to IT so we're going to retain our position once again it is now bullish again so that's the idea okay so reliance has broken 1960 and nifty is seeing a dip Yeah, risk management time will be rolling down our calls to the we're gonna wait and actually wait two minutes and then see wait for this to expand to about 107 108 and at that point we will roll down so 107 108 on the spot we're going to we don't want to immediately overreact to a day like this is getting bought into right now so we'll wait but dips and holds there for a bit or if the momentum on the downside continues, that's, that's when we'll uh, roll down. Okay, time for a little risk management. Now the puts are finally expanding and the call is not deflating as much as we would like. So, to exit these. Dang it. Five. down. Partly. Okay, we've partly moved down the call section. We're going to move all of them down. There's not much time left to go, and we don't want some kind of last moment move to take away uh, points that we've collected today. Okay, so what's happening now? Reliance is uh, dipping, Bank Nifty is dipping. It's so not really dipping that much, but uh, now it's down about 15 points from the day's high. So, lines dipping and mainly bank nifty dipping. So, that's what's happening now. If the bullish sentiment continues, tomorrow we might see more uh, uptake on bank, uh, IT index. So, I mean, one would say you can take BTSD on, on IT stocks today, you could also probably take. BTSD on bank nifty for that matter um, if it closes below 36,000 but we have enough upside exposure so we're not going to do BTSD sort of trading and in general we're avoiding overnight positional trading for now so that's that's what we're doing so where are we now we have yeah we have a strangle which is more or less uh, balanced very well balanced so we're just going to wait now so what happens in the last few minutes right of the day that's when you see the maximum decay in the day provided there's no too big a trend or too big momentum in any side because a lot of people who have bought puts and bought calls will be exiting their position so you see a crash in the price so that's exactly when we want to exit we want to exit around 315 320 that's a good time to exit that's what we're going to do now we're just going to hold on and uh, yeah, we'll catch you towards the close most likely okay so what is the plan now the dip seems to be continuing and bank nifty is making a new low for the day so the idea will be if this is broken convincingly we break 15100 then we move down our calls and we will set a stop loss on our puts at around 125 if it breaches that we're going to just get out of the trade we'll still be locking in a good amount of profit and uh, that is the idea for now we're going to wait and watch now mainly the dip is coming from reliance getting off the day's high now it's close to uh, 
uh, still 16 17 points on the day's high bank nifty dipping towards the day's low let's see if uh, we close above 5900 or if people manage to smash it below that uh, before close our positions are looking all right for now looking all right and uh, yeah the thing is the down move <laughs> like right now what we saw down move expanded these by like another five points from where they are now but is the calls didn't even change by like two points so that's what happens once you start seeing momentum on one hand the guys who have bought calls are not getting rid of them because like, like the tip is going to get bought which happens happens a lot which is why they're like okay I'm not really convinced whereas the guys who are selling puts are like buying back their puts uh, saying oh okay i don't want to take the risk that's what is generally uh, referred to as expansion of IV as well. Premiums going up net. In fact, if it goes up enough, you'll see that the calls also expand at the same time. And then you're just like, okay, what am I doing in this position? So yeah, it's almost three o'clock. And uh, yeah, we'll be looking to exit now. Okay, we're getting out of the put. We've gotten out of the put. I'm gonna set stop losses on this at 96 and 97. I'm most likely going to get hit and get out of that as well. Yes, get out of this now. So. Yeah, quite a big dip. We are seeing this put really expand. We're going to get out here as well. Okay, that's a problem. Into a different Wi Fi. There you go. And we're going to set a stop loss on these calls. Actually, we set it. Hmm. We're also going to exit all the hedges that we had. This is why you need to have three different internet connections. You can swap between them as and when one messes up. Okay, so we're seeing a pullback from the lows. But too early to call. okay so we have the stop loss hit on the calls seeing a pin bar being formed on the five minute candle and looks like we're holding 15100 so ideally had we held on to the short puts we would have done better for the day than what we did so intraday we made about uh, um, roughly on our capital that would be around one percent on the capital that we use today so let's set these long calls as well yeah 
yeah so we exited the long calls so intraday we made about a good one percent which is fine we just take it from there we don't want to over trade so the idea is okay why did we not take it off i mean ideally had we continued to trade here and we didn't see this big dip in bank nifty as well as reliance then we would have got good amount of decay maybe another six seven eight points so sort of wished it for those six seven eight points which is fine that uh, puts us in a very good spot regardless take money off the table when it's time uh, we also bought some stocks in cash because they're dipping after good results yeah and just keep accumulating thank you so much for watching um i hope this was useful to you we will be trading tomorrow i'll be trading tomorrow so i will catch you then bye bye thank you for watching please post any questions you have in the comment section also do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to find us on twitter and telegram use the username niftybn also i post some of my trades to the community tab so don't forget to check that from time to time